So it is possible. We can make a world free of Spyrix. I suppose you could say this is an ideal future. In that one sense, at least. Drellin's so full of restaurants. The entire city smelled fantastic. Mmm. Just thinking about it makes my stomach growl. Really? At a time like this? Clearly all that time in the abyss did nothing to steady your metabolism. No. Oh, <laughs> food is the fundamental building block of life, Jude. And you can't fight on an empty stomach. Everyone's talking about food and now I'm hungry. As am I. When do you imagine we'll be eating? Your cooking has them all eating out of your hand, Luger. Indeed. Although I understand that El's father is quite the cook in his own right. He sure is. He's the best cook I've ever met in my life. Defeating Luger in the kitchen is no easy feat. I hope I get the opportunity to try his cooking one day. Well, if you're that eager, when I see him again, I'll ask him for you. Maybe he'll take pity on everyone and cook for all of you. I certainly hope he does. Well, that would be most generous of him. Slaves to your appetites, the whole lot of you. Everything is so lush. So this is where they found the bodies of all the victims. Does anyone live over there? It's quite the mystery house, I should say. It's not a mystery, because that's where I live. That's my house! I live there with my daddy! Is that really Elle's house? How could it be? This is a fractured dimension after all. Mm. 
Daddy. Welcome home, El. Where are the bad guys? They're gone now. Are you okay? Oh, Daddy! Mask. <laughs> so that's El's father. Jealousy is natural. It's a common human emotion, after all. Keep in mind, Luger, this is a fractured dimension. <laughs> Seems my girl's been in good hands. I'm Victor. Where are my manners? It's been too long since I've had guests. Please, join me for dinner. What do you say, Luger? <laughs> I hope it sufficed. Yes, thank you. You delivered quite a feast. It's pretty tasty stuff, huh? You'll be as good a cook as me someday. I know it. Give it... ten years. <laughs> Maybe sooner than that, Daddy. His cooking is already super tasty. And you gotta try his L-style Mabo curry! <laughs> I haven't enjoyed a meal this much in ten years. I think I ate too much. I think it's Daddy's fault for making my favorites. You earned them all, my dear. Victor, there's something I'd like to ask you. You're curious about the mask, I'd wager. My face was scarred in battle long ago. Not that. What is it, then? <laughs> I know what makes her happy. She is dear beyond words to me. <clears throat> I also know that I am a true denizen of this fractured dimension. <coughs> that would mean L. Yes. My daughter was born with a power that only a few Kresniks have ever possessed. She can manipulate space and time, a skill lost in the Prime Dimension. She's the key of Kresnik? So the power was never Luger's to manifest. He knew the truth of it all along. What are you planning to do with the key? You see, the key has its limits. And you stand in my way, Luger. I don't want to wake my daughter. Let's step out. It's a photograph with the name Lara Marta written on it. This must be Elle's mother. Yeah. Daddy, I've been trying so hard. Because I promised.
Impressive view, yes. Has Spyrite technology been perfected in this dimension? It has, and you perfected it eight years ago. I see. But then, I killed you. <sighs> Why in the world would you do that? I didn't stop at Jude either. I killed you in this dimension as well. Alvin, Leia, and even Elise. I killed you all. You tried to stop me from killing Beasley. Even Julius took your side. Beasley made a grave mistake when he tried to take L from me. I'll ask you again. What are you plotting? I simply wish to live in peace with the real L. But that will never happen as long as he exists. <laughs> Victor, don't tell me you're... A fractured version of Luger? Exactly! I'm the future version of you, and now I shall become... a real you! Hey! What's everybody doing here? Go back inside, honey. We're just having a little talk. Daddy! No need to be frightened, Elle. If we go to the land of Canaan, I can make this all go away, I promise. You and I can live happily ever after, Hell. We really can? She's not yours to fool her around! I'll make a wish to the Spirit Origin to start my life over again! <laughs> and Elle will be with me, of course. Reborn as my daughter in the Prime Dimension. I'll be... reborn? That makes no sense! You'll be different people! But we will still be together! Daddy! Everything will be fine. We'll make brand new memories. <gasps> Come here. This time, Mommy will be with us, too. No. I don't want that! No! L. <laughs> to trade places with him using your own daughter yes i knew el would bring luger to me after all i am the final way marker what kind of monster manipulates his own daughter like this what the hell do you know what in the Killed my father and brother for this power. No, stop it! Please, please, stop! Wait for me. I'll end this. Let's show it! It's tough! 
Know the power of a fool! Fanatic! Behold! Form Destroyer! Can't end here. Luger! You... Look out! I got you 
Sorry. We had no choice. Divergence Catalyst? All power comes with a price to pay. That's just the way it is. <laughs> you see? So that's why you chose to be reborn. Gazelle. Gods! She's becoming a catalyst. But why would something like that even happen? Unless the power really is within L. <clears throat> what 
We're not going to figure this out here. Let's find a room in Drellin. This must be so hard for Luga. And there's nothing we can do. Even the Lord of Spirits is powerless to help. <coughs> Elves becoming a divergence catalyst? I don't understand how this could happen. According to Victor, Becoming a Divergence Catalyst is the price for using the clan's power beyond a certain limit. If El is the daughter of Luger from a fractured dimension, that would make her part of the Kresnik family. But she doesn't even seem to have access to Chromatis powers. Hmm. Jude, you started to say something about this earlier. Do you remember what that was? I do. The pocket watch is the key to manifesting the Chromatis, right? But when Luger first transformed into his Chromatis, it was L that was holding the watch. So Luger has been using L as a conduit for his power. <laughs> Do you remember how Luger couldn't transform into his Chromatis when we first met the other Mila? That's because L wasn't with us then. So then L has been paying the price for Luger's use of the power. But it goes without saying that Luger had no way of knowing this. Still, there was no way for any of us to know of this. I'm sorry, Luger. There's no need to apologize. Who could have possibly guessed that the Chromatis was linked to the Catalysts like this? Elle's not doing so good. Is the catalyst sickening her? No, she's been traumatized. I mean, she just saw her father... <clears throat> oh, sorry. I know it's not like you had a choice in the matter. I'm worried about her. And you. How are you holding up? I know how you feel. Imagine how I felt when I learned I wasn't really Maxwell, but just a vessel he'd created for his convenience. <coughs> but remember, Luger, no matter what, you are still you. That hasn't changed, and it isn't going to. Your duty hasn't changed either. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to ramble on. Is it spurious? Luger, we've confirmed the retrieval of the final way marker. Please proceed to Rize Harbor in Marksburg immediately. What's the plan? We'll depart tomorrow. Tonight, we should rest. A wise course of action. You must be starving, right? Luger made us some tasty soup. No. I don't want it! I only want my daddy's soup and this isn't it! It's never gonna be right, just like you're never gonna be my daddy! I want my daddy! Why'd you have to do that? Are you okay? Are you... Ugh. 
It'll heal in no time. Wait, you're gonna make more? But... Do whatever you need to do. I'll help, if that's all right. Your arm is still injured. All done? I'm sorry that I can't do more for you. I'm just happy knowing that a future like that might even be in the cards. It helps me believe I can do it. I can perfect Spyrite technology. <laughs> I was trying to cheer you up. But here you are making me feel better. You know, I think she'll understand someday. It's good. Luger? I, I ran away, cause I realized something. When somebody leaves you, when they disappear, you never get to taste their cooking again. just protecting me, weren't you? Keeping me safe. <laughs> From my daddy. Sad as it is, even at times like this, the world still marches on. And considering our place in that world, we shouldn't expose Elle to any more danger. Rowan, can you find a safe place for Elle to stay while we see this through? I'll see what I can come up with. Are you leaving me behind because I'm a fake?
All right then, we'll take her with us. How's the burn on your left hand? I understand exactly how Elle feels. I've been there myself. Everything I'd done had been rendered meaningless. And convinced of that, I began lashing out at the people who were important to me. You're speaking of when Mila died on the Zenithra. Yeah. Leia was worried sick and trying to take care of me. And I threw the food she made for me against the wall. I had no idea. I figured Leia wouldn't say anything. I was awful to her. But she persisted in trying to take care of me. And that's the only reason I recovered at all. So please, keep looking after Elle. Do everything you can. Okay. Man, in the space of a year, everyone's fashion sense sure has evolved. No kidding. Especially musings. I find her new dress quite dignified. A fine choice for a great spirit. It isn't a dress at all. That comes straight from Muse. She's manifested her spirit powers in a clothing-like form, but technically, she's completely naked. Naked? C completely Are you so surprised? It was no different for Undine and Efreet. Does that mean... Mila too? Completely naked? I don't know anything about Mila's situation. How can you stay so quiet, Luger? Say something! No one wants to hear about you being naked! The vividness of that image has brought me to my senses. I'm sorry. This is my fault for speaking so carelessly. Thanks for bailing us out there. That conversation was about to take a very dangerous turn. You have my gratitude. Incidentally... I... hope you were kidding when you said you're naked when you transform. 